I am Lefred, so welcome to this new video series, MySQL 101. It's MySQL for beginners. We will see during this, all these videos how to install MySQL on different platforms, how to use it, how to install the clients, MySQL Shell, MySQL Shell for Visual Studio Code, how to add data in tables, or to delete data, how to play with JSON data type, and so on. So stay tuned for extra videos, and let's start right now. So today we're gonna discover schemas and database in MySQL. First, what is a database? A database schema defines how data is organized within a relational database. In MySQL, the term database and schema are the same, so they are synonyms, and they define the same entity, a structure, also a directory in the data deer, in which we specify the tables, fields, relationships, views, indexes, procedures, functions, and triggers. All that it's part of a schema or a database. They are exactly the same in MySQL. So when we have installed the first time MySQL, we have four predefined databases, so four predefined schemas that are already present, information schema, performance schema, sys schema, and MySQL. MySQL is the one without all the data there. So we do show databases and we can see the uh, four um, schemas. Here with Visual Studio Code, I will show you how we can find that. I'm using an instance in OCI, very easy to connect, um, to OCI using MySQL um, shell for Visual Studio Code. So I'm connecting there. And we can see here we have already some the predefined databases, information schema, performance schema, and sys. As you can see, MySQL, we don't see it here. So this is, it uh, has all the system tables. So if I do show databases and I execute it, I can see that MySQL is here. So now, if you want to see it, you can do show MySQL system schemas, and the MySQL now is also shown. But by default, it's hidden. To prove you that there are synonyms, I will use also show schemas. I can execute it, the selection like here, or I can do control enter to uh, execute it. So now, how do I create a database? So if we want to create a new database, we're going to create a database called Menagerie. So how are we going to do this? We will use create database and the name of the database in SQL. But in database name, we don't use spaces, capitals, reserve keywords, accents and punctuation, and digits only. So you cannot create a table 1, 2, 3. But you can create a table T123, for example. right? So... Capitals are also possible, but it's something, a tip that uh, I prefer to give you. Try to avoid uh, any um, case in the name of your table and databases. So let's do create database here, menagerie. In Visual Studio Code, I did control shift enter to execute uh, the command. And now if I refresh here, I can see that Menagerie, it's installed, and uh, we can see table views, but it's empty right now. To list databases, we can also list them with the criteria. So show schema or show databases like and uh, a criteria here uh, about the name. So for example, here I do Mena percent to search all the databases starting by um, Mena. I do it again here in MySQL uh, shell for Visual Studio Code. And you can see we have Menagerie, it's there. We can also delete a database using drop database and the name of the database. Here, a search criteria won't work. We need to give, provide the name. So here I use drop database Menagerie and the database is deleted. In uh, MySQL shell for Visual Studio Code, I can't, in the DB notebook, re restart the same command every time I want. I highlight it, do Control shift enter and we can see here, I refresh, it was not there anymore. A tip, you can also put a database in read-only mode only. So, if I do here now, so I will recreate the database because I deleted it, so create database menagerie. 
now it's there if I search for it you can see that it's there right and now I will modify it so I use alter database the name of my database so menagerie and I use read only equal one to enable it as a read only for example now that it's read only I cannot delete it so if I refresh I see menagerie and I try to drop the schema I need to confirm and we see an error here that we are not able to drop the schema right because it's in read only mode if I try in, in the comment here so I will try again drop database menagerie we see same error schema menagerie it's in read only mode if I put it back in uh, the default that is not read only anymore I can drop the schema without any problem we can see that the schema is not there anymore. Earlier I said that you cannot use reserve keywords in the database name. So what are the reserve keywords? The reserve keywords are a list of keywords that are in information schema in the keywords table and that you cannot use for table name and database name. So let's have a look how we can get them. So we do select count to see how many they are first from information schema keywords table and where the column reserved is equal to one. So we will see that we will have 262 in 831. New version or new releases of MySQL can bring new reserve keywords or remove uh, reserve keywords. This is not happening uh, often. So we can have the list of these reserve keywords if we do select word, so the column word from information schema keyword table where the reserve is one. So we can have the full list here and you can see it's a long list of 262 uh, keywords that we cannot use as database or table name or, or column name either, right? So here is the full list. So thank you for watching. Next time we will create table and we will uh, play with records. So thank you and see you soon for a new video. Bye bye.